kind of the, the last layer then is all of the technology. So you bring all of these great pieces together, great pedagogy, instructional design, a really student-friendly environment, and then technology to support the learning and the instruction, and we have a really amazing classroom. Um, in social studies and language arts, you will see one-on-one -on -one devices. We have uh, Microsoft Surface tablets. We have some desktops. Um, and we also have some of the newer X360s, as well as regular school laptops. Um, in our science classrooms, you will see high-tech vernier probeware, um, digital microscopes. It's amazing what the kids can do. They can watch, they can watch a synopsis, a, a, an event happen under the microscope, video record it, annotate it, put it on a Prezi presentation, and then everyone in the class who missed that, perhaps in their lab, can actually see it happen. And the kids love it, it's really cool. So we have Vernier Probeware, we have the TI, um, uh, TI calculators with navigator hats and software, so they can communicate, and those actually hook into the Vernier probeware so that there can be instant data collection right on the screen in real time and the kids can learn how to calculate and crunch numbers and format that data. Math classrooms as well have the TI Inspire calculators with the Navigator software and, and teachers can use those calculators as normal calculators but then do quick pulls and check students instantly on how they did. And, and some, of the, some of the best learning comes from what's the common error. So we do see that happen where you know, they can teach from that. But look, happy advice. This is what you did. It's just amazing what they can do.